What is up, guys? Today, we're going to do something really cool and paint with soap. What? Quack, quack. I've done this for years now. It's an old surfboard painter's trick where you spray the board, whatever colors you want. It doesn't even matter. You drizzle, dizzle this on, and then you spray it black and wash it off. It's so cool, so simple. So you might be wondering, why do I have two cups, two tumblers, two boring, it's kind of boring playing. I was going to say beauties, but they're kind of boring looking. Boring. So we're going to fix that. But anyway, I'm going to show you two different styles of this. Both are going to be underlaid with those neons. I'm going to do this one the traditional way, but this one I'm going to change it up a little bit. You just have to wait and see. Let's go. So my idea is to spray them kind of randomly. You could do stripes or whatever, but uh, who cares? Whoa, that's almost glowing in the dark already. I don't even know what color I grabbed. See, I never even used it yet. Pink. Oh, that's pretty. Let's put a little dot right there. You can go over it more than whatever. Don't forget the bottom. I forgot the bottom. Oh, oh, I had that turned the wrong way. Just do whatever you want. What color I got? I already did orange on the bottom. I want to do pink. All right, now those turned out pretty sick. This one's more of a candy cane looking swirly swirly that's the word i'm going to use and this one's just random because i was feeling it you know what i'm saying so we're going to do the soap on both of these you pick which one you like best woo, woo. Uh, now most people most people like to do this outside i can't imagine why but we're not we're going to do it in here so let's go let's see you got you got to be kind of quick you drizzle dizzle you get it where you like it. Spray it black quickly before the stuff starts running. Give it a minute, let the black dry. Doesn't take but a second. And I'm using the ultimate ultra matte, which dries the fastest of any of them. Matte dries faster than gloss. Remember that. Here we go. Just drizzle, dizzle. Turn your cup, give it a little swoosh, 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 swoosh. That's what I'm going for. I don't know. A little on the bottom. There's a glob. I wasn't really going for that, but whatever. Whatever, man. Oh, a bubble. Whee! That's fun. Just do it till you think it's a cool looking pattern. And then spray, spray ya! Don't forget the bottom. Whee! You can already see it's gonna look awesome. Now we'll let this dry for a few minutes and then we'll go wash that off and do the next one. Let's go! Oh my gosh. I just finished rinsing off the first one and I know you guys, oh gosh, I missed some bubbles. Hey, we might need to go rinse some more. That's what I was gonna say. Make sure you rinse long enough to get you know, the Dawn dish soap is really blah, 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 greasy. Not gre It's not greasy. It's made to fight grease. Get it right. But you got to make sure you get it all off. I know you guys want to see it. But I mean, you're going to have to wait. All right. For the first one, I did like a little choo-choo-choo-choo type of thing. But for this one, I'm going to do a little swirly pattern, I think. 
And I noticed when I washed this off, it was so satisfying. You guys, I got to show it to you this time. So uh, check this out. I'm mobile. Look, both hands and woo -hoo -hoo. Oh, yeah. figure that out. How I won't do that, huh? Hey, I think of the coolest camera angles for you guys. And uh, I got my tripod taped to my chest, so it's no big deal. <laughs> Here we go. Here we go. Let me point this up a little bit. Here we go. Start it off side. Swirl and turn. That's what I'm going for. Let's go the other way. Just get it till you think the pattern looks cool. If the pattern looks cool in soap, guess what? It's going to look rad in paint, dude. Run do that. There, I'm happy with that. Let's get the bottom. Little doo 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 doo. Shake it real quick. Bye! Spray paint, baby. Now, wait till you see this mug wash off. It's ridiculous. Bottom. There we go. That is going to look wicked. Okay, let's go wash this off. Now. We're here to wash this off and watch how satisfying this is. It is ridiculous. Up a little bit. Ah. Look at that. Oh, it's splashing everywhere. Oh, that's so nice. bottom all right so I forgot I wanted to do something a little different on this guy but I grabbed a black and just went to town I want to use purple but I'm going to use this opportunity to teach you guys a little something a couple little tips I want to give you one you wash it off that's all good you can do that early but don't wipe it until it's completely dry. Otherwise, you get this. So this is what happens when you wipe it, when it's not exactly dry. Up here around the top, got a little heavy, so it didn't dry as fast as this. So look how clean that is. That's super clean. And everything looks great. So tip number one. Tip number two, say it didn't cover enough for you. You can go back with black again or purple, but do it again. You can do it as many times as you want to and as many colors as you want to with the soap. So that's a cool thing to be able to do. Tip number three, if you screw the whole thing up and you don't like anything about it, the great news is you can take it off and do it over with mineral spirits. Or you can just spray paint white and start over. I like to give you options. You know what I'm saying? Learn and then is growing and learning or whatever. So let's dry this off the rest of the way. I didn't dry pretty good. Wipe my water off. I can get the water out of there. I'm going to retape it. And then we're going to do it again with the purple. And then you can see what a double layer looks like. Because I, I had a different plan for this one. And I just grabbed the black and went to town. But it still looks cool, right? Yep. All right. And tip number five, seven. I don't know. You should be keeping track. Uh. Before you epoxy and take your tape off, I'm taking the tape off because it got wet and I want to do something else. So change fresh tape. So I took this out because uh, before you epoxy, you might want to get all that washed out and make sure it's dry, especially these guys. They're foam. They hold water. So uh, that's a good tip. All right, here we go. Be sure to pay attention to the spray painting that I do because I got a little trick to show you. And if you want to know how you can get your hands on one of these, stay tuned to the end. Mm. 
missing some spots here. There we go. It's hard to see with it all stripey already. All right, let's take an inspection. I think we need some more. When in doubt, use more. You can always go back again. Well, that's what we're doing. All right. The blue's out. No, it's not. Some Lisa Frank going on there. Don't tell me you don't remember Lisa Frank. All right, that's enough. And we're gonna let that dry for a minute and then we're gonna go wash that off. How many of you think it's gonna look awesome, huh? Me. Let's just take a moment to appreciate the beauty that is the bottom of this tumbler. That's gorgeous. So before we get to the big reveal, I just epoxied these things. And a lot of you guys asked me what type of epoxy do I use? And I wanted to give you guys the opportunity to get the exact same epoxy that I use. Well, not, not the exact same, because I, I kind of already put it on the cup there. You have to get your own. But I want you to have your own too. And I use a Lumalite Amazing Clearcast, and they've been generous enough to give you guys a 10% discount. So if you head on down to the link in the description to a direct link to get your epoxy and don't forget to use discount code Duncan 10 and it's so shiny and beautiful not yet not yet oh sorry now